I'll be showing the brand new Reading Coach in Microsoft Teams. Reading Coach is part of Reading Progress, which is a reading fluency tool where students read a passage out loud, and then Reading Coach will give them independent practice based on the words that they mispronounced. So let's get started. I'm signed in as a teacher in Teams, and I'm gonna to go to Assignments. Let's go down to the bottom and choose Create and Assignment. We'll give it a title and instructions. Now I'll click Attach and I'll choose Reading Progress. I won't do the full end-to-end -end demo of Reading Progress, but I will show a teacher setting an assignment and also customizing the coach. So let's import our passage. Here's my geography passage. And just like I normally can, I'll set things like reading level, genre, number of attempts, and I'll do that quickly. Now you'll see this new area called Reading Coach that's been enabled. And by default, it is on. You can turn that to off if you don't want to use the Reading Coach, but we're going to leave it as on. Another nice thing is you can configure the reading coach ahead of time as the educator. So I'm going to click edit. Now there are some default settings and these are some of the supports that you'd like the students to have access to. So for example, letting them play the word out loud like this. Atmosphere. You can stretch the word like this, break it into syllables. You can click a picture. So if there is a picture for the word, we use our picture dictionary technology from immersive reader. And you can turn off certain things. So maybe you don't want to let them have the ability to see a picture for the word. That means that we won't show that there. So you can change and customize these. We'll turn that back on. At the bottom, you also have when the tools show up. So you can have them show by default after the passage is done. So the students would read and the reading coach tools show up immediately. You could have it so you make them try it at least once. So the first time they try, there are no supports, but after they give it a try, then these tools show up. You have voices here, so I can open this up and choose a different voice. So maybe instead of Jenny, I wanna choose Christopher. Let's see how that sounds. Atmosphere. There we go, he's a little more serious. I'm gonna go back to Jenny and leave that default. And you can have a different type of prompting style. So if you have younger students or maybe elementary school, middle school, more supportive. You might wanna have more direct if you have older students and there's some options there, but I'll click save. Okay, our passage is ready. I'll go to the upper right and choose next. And now I'll click assign to give it to my class. And then we'll show how the reading coach pops up after that student reads. Now I'm signed in as a student and here's this new assignment I got for my teacher and I'll open this up. And now the student is gonna read out loud. We're not gonna actually do the reading, but imagine she mispronounced a bunch of words along the way. Now we're gonna switch over and finish that reading. The student has finished reading and now she's gonna click use this recording. It attaches. These words were the most challenging for you. Select any word to tackle them again. So this is the reading coach. It immediately pops up for the student. Reading coach works on PC, Mac, web, iOS, iPad and iPhone, as well as Android phone and tablet. And now as a student, I can do personalized practice. So for example, if I go click on the first word mountains right here. When you're ready, press the microphone and read the word out loud. Now I have my practice material. So here's the word mountains, and these are the different supports. I can hear it out loud. Mountains. I can stretch the word. I can see a picture of the word. So I have all these different options. So let's say I'm going to click the microphone at the bottom here and practice it. Moontins. South close. Let's read the word again. So I didn't get it quite right. Now I'll try it one more time. Mountains. You're making your brain stronger. Nice work. Okay, I got that one right. Now I'm gonna go in the lower right and there is a next word button. I'll click this. Now I've got another word. This is physical. Now in this case, we don't actually have an image for physical, so there is no picture showing, but I can do the same things. I can stretch it. I can try it. Physical. Ah, didn't quite get that one. Try it again. Physical. Great, okay, so I can step through these different words. I can also go backwards or forwards here, but then I can hit the home button in the upper left. And I can see, okay, these two I've gotten right after my practicing. You know, maybe I'm gonna jump to the last one here. Same as before, we'll stretch that word. We'll give it a try. Atmosphere. Hey, got that one right on the first try. So. That is how Reading Coach works. Now I can click I'm done 
And now I could turn this in. So I'm not forced to finish all of the words. I can choose to do which ones I want. And if I want to go practice again, I can go back here and I can click reading coach again. And I can go and practice again. Okay, I'll speed through the last two just for fun. Great reading today. You showed these challenging words. Who's boss? Okay, I'm all done. Hit next. Now my assignment is ready to turn in with those reading coach practices and I'll hit turn in. Now we'll switch back to the teacher and show how that looks on the educator side for the review experience. Okay, I'm signed back in as the educator and it looks like this student has turned in the assignment. I'll open that up. Here is the reading progress speed grader. And for those of you that have used reading progress, this should be something you're already familiar with. Now the part that's new is in the upper right, you can also now see practiced words. So you have a sense of what the student practiced. I will click this and open it up. Now here's what's nice is it shows the number of attempts for each of the words that was practiced in Reading Coach here. You can even see what tools they use to help. So you can see all oh, this on mountains, they used the read aloud, the stretching the word and the picture. So this is a nice little way that you can drill in and actually see how that student was practicing. And I'll close this. The other update we've made is the report that you return to the student. If you go to edit, this has already existed in reading progress, but if you go to custom report, there is now a switch so you can turn off the reading coach results. For example, if you return the assignment and you didn't want the student to see their own reading coach results, then you could turn that off. But we're gonna leave this on by default and we'll hit save. Now let's say I'm done with the assignment as the teacher, I'm ready to return it, we'll give the feedback. There's my feedback and I'll hit return. And now the final part is we're gonna sign back in as the student and the student will get this really nice report that they can actually practice with reading coach on independently if they choose. So let's sign in as the student. Okay, I'm signed back in as the student. I have an activity bell. It looks like my teacher returned something. Okay, here's the assignment that was returned. We'll click on this. And here's my reading coach assignment. And the teacher said, nice job. Glad to see you practice with reading coach. Okay, now if I open this assignment, what you see is the student gets a nice little representation of the words that were practiced and how they did right over here. Now, if I go over here, I can click on any word and I have a word atmosphere. I click here. We already had the listen to word, so I'll try that. Atmosphere. Okay, that's how it's supposed to sound. Now I can jump to the word. I can see how I read it. But the new thing we've added is this practice word, which will trigger reading coach. So let's say I just want to practice right now atmosphere. We'll click on that. When you're ready, press the microphone and read the word out loud. Okay, so maybe I want to stretch the word. Okay, it's stretched out, let's listen. Atmosphere. Okay, now I'm gonna try it. Atmosphere. You're making your brain stronger, nice work. Now what's nice is I can click on any word in this whole passage. So yes, I can click on a word that I mispronounced and choose practice, but I can even just click on any word and get independent practice. So we've built Reading Coach right into this return to student experience to make it even easier for students to independently practice. If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.